Welcome to Framework Fortune Crypto and welcome back everybody in the Framework Fortune community. We've got a big update from Gods Unchained, the P2E game built on Ethereum and the Layer 2 Mutable X platform. The Mortal Judgment new set is just around the corner and we have tons of information to go over. So we're not going to waste any time and dive right in. Mortal Judgment sounds really nice. You know, this is a new page on the GodsUnchained.com expansion, so you can go and find all this information there. I'll put the link in the description. And you can see with the Gods Chained, Yukos has been thrown into chaos. So we got some really cool card packs coming the way they look. So that'll be in the Gods Unchained store. You'll be able to buy these packs, like I've been saying. And I would say right away, just like we saw with the core set refresher, the really good cards out the gate, first come, first serve, whoever pulls them first and puts them on the market are probably going to get the highest prices right away. And then we'll see kind of a steady decline in prices as supply gets added to the market. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to go down to zero. This could bring a lot of new players into the game, and we may see a push on up. We did get a confirmation that IMX staking is coming as well as the God staking, and it's going to be about the same time. So let's move on through here. Champions divided the brink of an endless war. Under a solar eclipse, the drums of war sound. The Nubians and Valkner are on the march, and the fate of the mortal realm falls to the champions. So we got 190 plus cards in this set. This is the final major set of Season 1, Champions Rise. So if you've been paying attention to the actual storyline, you're going to get your little finisher. But I would say expect the cliffhanger, probably. So we do have the three new keywords that have been explained. And they have videos here showing it. But we're just not going to go through the videos. I'm just going to go through what it actually is. Echo, we saw it on the Augur Optimist and a few other cards. So the keyword calls a new creature to your hand. One link to the card you just played. Cards called by Echo have one mana, one health, one strength. The legendary Dahlia Night Gardener is a legendary in nature. She has Echo. Then also when a friendly creature is healed, summon a 1-1 one, one injured Sprout. And looks like she's an Amazon. Don't know what the injured Sprout is yet. I've not seen that. Uh, and then of course the Beguiling Blade, or Beguiling Blade I guess I should say, has the Echo as well. And then this creature off of Roar steals one strength from the strongest enemy creature. Wow, that's going to be nasty in Deception. So we also got the Empower and the Tempt Fate. So we'll go ahead and click. If you click right here, it'll go over to the keywords in these videos and show you. So Empower gives you the option to play your card as it appears or as a stronger empowered version. Basically, the empowered cards require more mana to play. So like with the Pyre Shaper, the Empower 4 means that it would cost 4 more mana to play it to get the deal 2 damage to each other creature. So without 6 mana, with just playing it at 2 mana, you would just be playing a 2-2-2 blank card. But you hold it to 6 mana, now it becomes a 6-2-2 deal two damage to each other creature so you would get you know a nice little board wipe out of uh, you know a little flexibility there so basically in power if you want to use this ability you're gonna to have to pay whatever that number of mana is and then tempt fate the one we've all been really curious about and of course this keyword was for risk takers a lot of people were saying that Shout out to everybody who called it. There was going to be some type of risk to this mechanic. And the mechanic is it will be providing a comfortable buff or a chance at more. But if fate is not on your side, you're left with nothing. 
So I don't know if that means you're left with no buffs whatsoever or if it just zeroes your creature's attack out or health out uh, depending on what they mean by this buff. So we'll, we'll get into it more as this set releases and see how these interactions of these new keywords and mechanics work. Definitely going to cause a shake up in the meta. A lot of experimenting going to be going on, but I still expect weekend ranks people to be playing their strongest decks. I haven't seen this Bone Roller yet. That's an interesting card. Death Card Roar, Tempt Fate, and apply the result to each of your creatures. So if it does zero out your creatures, that is a huge gamble. If it doesn't and they just stay the same, then it's not really that big of a gamble. But that could be big in some death decks. Hmm. A little bit of a little bit of randomness off of the tempt fate mechanic. So I'd be very interesting to see how this plays out. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun over the next couple of months. So we do have a whole lot of the cards here revealed. I was not able to keep up with the amount of reveals coming out, partly because I got sick and partly because of how many different uh, types of content I put out, multiple channels, all of that. But we'll look at a couple of these here that catch my eye. We do have Commander Pyros, Legendary in War. 3 mana, 3-3. Three, three. When a friendly creature survives damage, give it plus 1, plus 1. I definitely could see that being used with the Elephant. We might have seen that before. I just don't quite remember it. But Land of the Dead, I got a, I got a nice Nubian deck I'm going to be bringing out this weekend for the weekend ranked. I'll be playing it tomorrow. Been showing a lot of potential. We'll see if any of these new Anubian cards add power to the deck. This one certainly could be <laughs> quite a crazy card. So it looks like we got another legendary here. Oh, they're actually only showing. Oh, no, they are showing some more cards. So this is a magic legendary, Alastrina Prime Refractor. Four mana, reduce the mana cost of cards in your hand by one, and power three, do the same for your deck. Wow. So you drop her at seven mana, you are going to decrease the mana cost of every single card in your deck. That is unbelievable. That is probably going to get nerfed. I mean, seven mana is a pretty high cost, but... I mean, well, mm, it really makes ramp magic scary because now you're going to be able to drop Hydras at 8 mana and stuff like that after you've dropped Alistrina, so that's that's really scary. Oh, wow. Mobilized War Card reduced by 1 the cost of Empower cards in your hand, and then Empower 4 first draw 3 cards. Yikes. So if you play this at 6 mana, you would be drawing 3 cards and then you would be reducing the cost of every card in your hand that had Empower in the text. So there's going to be a lot of wild combos. Proud Protector, a Light Creature, Olympian, 4-4-4 four, four, four with Echo, and this creature swaps strength with another creature. That is very strong. We're getting a lot of strong cards out of this set. We have a Death Legendary here, Submit Bearer of the Burdens. When this creature enters the board, give plus one to your other creatures. It's a Nubian. That is going to have to go on my Nubian deck. I'm going to have to get that card. I'm going to be aiming on drawing that card. Or if it comes out on the market cheap, I'll grab it. Another crazy magic spell here. Unbound Flames. Deal five damage and power two. Deal five damage to each other creature. So you play as a seven mana. You're going to deal 5 damage and then fi deal 5 damage to each creature. So similar to a Whirlwind, but also adding 5 damage to it. To just 5 directly damage. Hmm. Wow. Oh, and on to the Mythics. So the Mythic, I should say Mythic, there's only one in every set as far as expansion sets, is Omox the Mad. Now the graphics on this, all of the Mythic cards are always insane graphics because they're one ofs. Uh, they all are priced you know, in the millions or somewhere close to there. Both players start with this card on the top of their deck. Roar, obliterate your hand and replace it with nine random nine mana creatures and set their cost to one. 
and he's a 4-4-4. So it's another one of those mythics that if you have it, you can just change the entire game to a whole new game, <laughs> basically with that card. And this has a chance to drop in any Mortal Judgment pack. Any. So it could be common, could be in an epic pack, could be in a legendary, who knows. There's only the one. If you get it, come let me know here on the channel and show us pictures, all of that. Sprite Fire. They added a legendary that is, uh, uh, they're calling it a treasure here. Once the mythic is found, once Omox the Mad is found, they're going to switch to putting Sprite Fire. And this card is only going to be discoverable in Mortal Judgment packs. Three mana, two, three. This is a dragon. I'm glad to see more dragons in the game. I personally don't think there's enough. I would love to make a full-on dragon deck, but most of the dragons are really high cost. But Sprite Fire... Roar, if you have eight or more cards in hand, give this creature plus five, plus five, frontline, but then it can't attack. I would prefer to see them take out that can't attack and let this thing go crazy since it's a dragon, but I guess he's a fat, lazy dragon, so that's why. <laughs> like, ah, this dragon didn't need to attack. You know, if he gets up there, man, look at all his gold and stuff in his fat little belly. He ain't, he ain't worried about nothing. So pretty, pretty interesting cards there that uh, if you get these, you're probably going to be a pretty happy person. So that is all the information that is out for the set. I would say all that is left is for the set to release. There are some more reveals out there, but we're so close to this being released, I'm not going to cover anymore. I think what they've done with the graphics of this set so far, the three new mechanics, I think it's all pretty awesome. Changes changes the game quite a bit. Gives new players a chance to compete with those old Genesis cards. We have seen some Genesis cards drop quite a bit in price. Trial of the Gods drop quite a bit in price as well. But those sets are locked and have low supply. So even though there's a lot of good cards in the set, the set will probably not be locked until towards, I would say, Christmas. Because the Divine Order set's not even going to be locked yet till May. So a lot of changes could happen with these mechanics, with the cards that have the new mechanics on them. You know, the mana cards could be switched to different god domains. A lot of things can happen. We've, if you've been in the game... For a while now, you know that. The prices in the market can get real funky and real wild. You'll have opportunities to make good money, or you can also screw yourself over if you're not careful. But one other thing before I go. Big update here to the Immutable X platform. If you go to buy crypto, used to you could only buy ethereum and usdc on imx to put it directly in your account now you can buy gods and imx with staking coming up this is big and here's why because you do not have to buy these tokens on coinbase anymore and send them over here through metamask and pay all those gas fees instead they are going directly into your layer 2 wallet on immutable x and your fees are way lower. You can see as low as 488. Both IMX and Gods, just to buy them now on the IMX platform. Pretty big news, I would say, as we've not been able to get coins directly in here, that makes it a lot easier for adoption of this game. So that's it for this video. Like I said, we'll be back Thursday tomorrow for some more Live Gods Unchained gameplay and testing. And then this weekend, this weekend, boy, I'm ready to get spicy with my special little Anubian deck that I'm going to show you guys. And I think probably we may see the new set drop next week after this weekend ranked. I could be wrong. Who knows? But we'll see. If you haven't yet, go check out FrameworkFortune.com, sign up for free, and join the Discord. And come play, test, 
all of that stuff with the Framework Fortune community and check out everything else we got going on. Appreciate everybody joining me as always. Stay safe out there. Until next time. This is war with the enemy. Think that it was meant to be. Living in a time where disease is on every screen. I won't let them fester me. I know most are festering. Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak. <laughs>